Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. My name is Creepers and I'm here today with another video of Realm Royale for you guys. Yeah, I said it right this time, Realm Royale. Some people have been somehow complaining for the fact that I've been saying that wrong in the past few videos and I apologize for that. But now it's fixed. Let's cut right into the chase. Let's talk about the real important news you guys have been here to listen to so the first things that we want to know is some major changes coming to the game like some sort of inventory looks like a backpack and etc so let's go through the patch notes piece by piece and you know cut it down in small detailed information uh, in order for you guys to understand now the first thing you guys probably should know is that all legendary weapons damage has been reduced from 200 percent to of the common damage to 175 so they had a little bit of a reduced on the common damage uh, pretty good this means that legendary weapons are not as strong as before although some people do believe that it should even go even lower than this and to be pretty honest maybe I, sh I think the same thing too but still let's continue it's still an alpha it needs to be tested and eventually we'll get the perfect formula now the weapon swap durations of all weapons have been reduced by, by 40%. Uh, if you guys are wondering what this means, it means that uh, it will take a little longer of time between switching weapons, which means that it will be harder for you to be just switching weapons back and forth, like you, for example, do it in Fortnite just to look cool and shit. Yeah, you're not going to be able to do it like that in here. Uh, throwing axes. The weapon that came up in the last two patches has been increased it has a new increase in time between shots by 50 percent so it takes a little longer to spam those little axes pretty good they also decrease the damage at epic rarity from 450 to 375 and from on the legendary rarity they went from 600 to 437 what can I say about this? Gotta be pretty honest, unfortunately I didn't have internet in these past few days and as such I could not test the battle axe. I tried in a few games right now before I decided to record this and I didn't manage to get the footage unfortunately but I will be streaming today so if you guys want to join me probably I'll get that battle axe. Um, as for abilities, frag grenade now uh, takes uh, its lifetime, it's uh, you know what, what, what I mean by lifetime is when you throw the grenade in the air, you notice that it will explode by one second. So if you're trying to throw it from really far away, it's really, really hard. And uh, because it explodes sooner. And now they decided to change it. It takes up to 10 seconds until it finally hits the surface. And after it hits the surface, it has one second and explodes. It's really easy now to use them. And not to mention they also increased the area effect. So frag grenades are now buffed and probably a lot it has a lot more uh success when using them at long range so that is good the healing grenade now this is probably something you guys didn't know so far but it is something bad to be honest uh the healing grenade is going to back to his original state which was the shielding potion where um applies a five second shield that absorbs 500 damage and this doesn't just go for the healing grenade this also goes for the healing totem now you don't have an ability that can actually heal you anymore if you want to heal you have to use the little potions uh the healing potions that you get you know those little green potions since they change it in the past two uh patches from yellow to green and you have to get them and use them as for these potions and the healing totem they will only act as shields it's not bad to be honest but at the same time it's not what we were used to but as i said this is still an alpha so it can go back into a normal potion uh it can go back you know they can even take it away nobody knows to be honest one of the things that i would love to be seeing on this game would be the poppy bomb from bomb king that would be a very good addition because if somebody comes at you with a, a legendary sword and you have no running because when you're running, you're, you're not shooting, and it's really hard to keep that distance between you and your enemy. What's going to happen is you use the poppy bomb right in the middle between you and your enemy, and he would be pushed back in one direction, and you would be pushed back in another direction, giving you guys some space in order to actually kill them. 
that would be actually a very good addition. I'm not entirely sure if they would do it. Uh, let's see. I did mention the axing, the, the access from Grover, and somehow they made it in game. I don't think it was because of Mito, but definitely it was sort of a good prediction. Let's let's hope my, this is a, also a good prediction. As for armor, helmets will no longer grant life steal, and now reduces the cooldown of all abilities by 10 to 30 percent for epic and legendary rarities. So the helmet now has a buff, technically, and they took away the life steal. To be pretty honest, the lifesteal wouldn't do much. Uh, the, also, the gauntlets weapon swap reduction from 20 to 60 percent will will now change to 10 to 30 percent, depending depending on the rarities, which was epic and legendary. So you're you guys are probably not understanding this. I'll just tell it in an easy way. Um, the gauntlet, what it would do at, for example, epic uh, rarity, it would give you 20 percent of swap speed extra, and at legendary it would give you 60 percent now at epic only gives you 10 and at legendary only gives you 30 so they reduce it up to half yeah as for the thing that i think that i, I this is the the part that i like the least i really don't like this to be honest um i think it was the worst thing possible i've been i've been getting in game and i notice it uh, you guys noticed it that until now there was a circle immediately when you would spawn in telling you where the first circle would be. And that, that was cool, right? You would know, okay, so definitely I want to try to avoid that area. But unfortunately, now they actually decided that the fog is now present in that initial ring. So there is already fog in the island as soon as you come. Uh, and what means is that if you guys or, you know, you want to go into the far end of the map and there's a forge there, and it's probably already like really close to the circle, but it's outside, you, you can't access it anymore unless you really feel like a hero and decide to go into the fog and probably kill, kill yourself, um, unfortunately. Also, the Zeppelins now start uh, on a way that it, it will go through the entire safe zone. So basically what they mean about this is that you're going to go towards the center of the, you know, the safe zone. So it will pass right through the entire circle the longest way possible and it will go through the middle okay it will pass through the center of that safe zone so it means that you are going to have a bigger uh, chance of hitting all zones in the safe zone that is good that is good increase it uh the wait timer before the fog converts into the second circle to three minutes we have more time even now with the first circle already closed but I kind of understand what they're trying to do, and I don't like it. What they're trying to do is basically uh, make sure that people die faster. Make sure there's less map available. Bring them all together more and more in order for them to die faster and in order to also have more players in the lobby so more games can be queued up. And I understand, but you're an alpha. There's like not, There's not like millions of people in this game right now. And it's understandable if we had to, win, uh, to wait between 15 to 20 minutes. It's understandable. In games now, instead of wait, uh, going through 30 minutes, which was what they were going if you managed to hold on till the end, uh, now we're going to be up to 20, sec 20 minutes or less. Nobody knows. Also, the chicken speed has been nerfed by 10%. Also, the health from 1000 to 700. I'm just going to say this right now. Probably people who are seeing this video are going to be mad at me, but I think this was the most stupid change ever. We actually have something that it's it's good. It's actually different from Fortnite and so on, where if you're playing solo, you still have a chance to come back into the game. And I saw a lot of people complaining, Oh my god, I hate the speed of the chickens, I can't kill them. I never had a problem with killing a chicken, first of all. Second, now what you just did is make sure that everybody dies faster that even with three chickens unless they shot at you from across the map there is no literally no way you can survive as a chicken okay there's less health less health uh less speed making the base character just walking faster than you at all making sure that you don't run away and to be pretty honest i don't like that i really don't i don't okay uh, I saw a lot of people complaining about that, but to be pretty honest, I think they're just crybabies. 
uh, and I know this may sound bad coming from me, but it, it they should actually grant people a way of transforming to a chicken and surviving, and not saying if you go into a chicken, you're dead. Okay, if you can't kill a chicken, that's your problem. Uh, train, you can sprint. A chicken can't. You have weapons. The chicken can't have anything. The only thing that they can do is just run and hide on places. And they even have the goddamn voice of the chicken, like, bah, 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 doing the noise. And people can actually understand where they are. Unless you stop, it goes less noise. But still, people know where you are. You can't go far than that. And if they stop hearing you, that means you stopped. It's, it's you know, quick maths. And it's stupid. Now, as for the art environment. Environment to third person adds, ADS, I'm sorry, uh, visuals for the crossbow. Uh, they basically, what they did is they fixed it, sort of the aiming skill with the crossbow when in third person, which is the only third, it's a, the only person you can go in still, but okay. And they also added a new lobby screen where basically you can see your character, almost like in patterns. Uh, as for now, we only have one character and eventually when we have cosmetics, that probably will change, of course, based on the character that you have. Uh, and you see a chicken going in the back, it's a blue chicken, so it means probably it's a teammate, <laughs> just saying. So that's kind of bad, like you're completely ignoring your teammate, you're, you're kind of shit, just saying. <laughs> uh, fix a bug where the border of the mountains ranges would look strange while skydiving. To be really honest, I've never seen this happen, but... It's up to them. Add interiors to a few more buildings within Fungal Forest. I also noticed there are some chests outside now. More chests outside than normal. Um, also, add interiors to a type of small forest ta tower. Okay. I don't know which tower this is, but if I find it in game, we'll see how good it is now. I, I gotta be very honest. I think the interiors that are talking about in Fungal Forest, I was there. It's not something like huge. Okay. It, it has one chest. That's it. It's just a small room, one chest, nothing else. As for bugs, they fix it a bunch of bugs, like um, bugs where some weapons could shoot, uh, could headshot enemies multiple times simultaneously. Um, that's actually good for us to survive a little bit more. Fix a bug where legendary war armor would no longer glow. That's just visual. Address a, var a variety of bugs around swapping weapons. Uh, that happened a lot. That was when, for example, you would switch a weapon that's in the ground, but you would immediately switch for your second weapon as soon as you did this. And what would happen is, technically speaking, you do have the weapon that you grabbed, but at the same time, you somehow, how can I explain this? Somehow, it was when you would switch back to that weapon, visually in your hands, you had the weapon that you had before. It was something impos impossible. And sometimes even shoot as a weapon you have before, but if you switch it back and forth, it would eventually fix. Um, they also fix it a bug where potions would have the wrong appearance, they fix it some issues with the friend system, fix it bug where user could drop teammates weapons while expectating, players can no longer open inventory screen when chicken it or dead. That's actually pretty good. Um, gotta be pretty honest, like now with the new uh, the new... Uh, how, how can I explain this? Now you have a backpack. And you have up to 8 slots. Okay? And these 8 slots, you can take additional abilities and weapons. Not armor, though. Armor is, is just what you can use and that's it. You still cannot unquip the armor you have. Something that I would love to have. Uh, you know, I have like a, a 2 legendary items of my armor and the rest is green and my teammate doesn't have no legendary whatsoever i would just take one of them give him extra armor something like that it's it's weird they also added a little part on top which calls itself nearby this works is if you're on top of somebody who just died it uh and you have your inventory array full with weapons and abilities but there's like a weapon which is better than the ones you have you can just press the weapon that you have and the press the weapon that it's nearby and it will switch so you don't have to grab everything after you switch at everything you needed you can just start disengaging everything on the ground that is good i actually like this this means that if i have for example a sword if i have a sniper if i have a, a, a shotgun a rifle and uh, a machine gun i can have all of these weapons at the same time and just switch between the weapons that I want. And also, it also means that if you have multiple legendaries, 
mul multiple legendary weapons, you now can store them in your inventory instead of just leaving them in the ground uh, and hoping for somebody to come after you and kill you. Okay. Now, as you may have noticed, I didn't cut up the things that I said of the gameplay you're seeing in the background uh, because I wanted you guys to see the full experience, sort of the things that are how they work, how are they now. And in this gameplay, you are able to see some of the changes that I just mentioned. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this somehow summed uh, most of the things that you guys were uh, hearing that changed. But at the same time, now you can actually, you know, confirm. And let me know what you guys think about these changes. I definitely don't like the fog change. That's that's just bad. The inventory change, it's weird. The chicken change is not at all, like 0%. I, I blame Harris for this. This was the stupidest thing they did. Okay, the chicken system is unique and they somehow fucked it in this last patch. You're not making it better at all. Stop it. Now, as for just one extra news, I will be streaming today if you guys want to join. And if you're seeing this video right now, probably I'm already streaming. Join us there. I'll be seeing you guys at my stream. Uh, you can also join up. I think today is actually duos. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, and until then, stay awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Bye-bye, guys. Have a wonderful day.